Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. Sometimes it's a struggle with gold, especially when you make a purchase, and by the time it's delivered to your door, the price falls. You know, that's kind of discouraging. And when we see the price kind of pull back fairly dramatically, even uh, when we're seeing the world around us fall apart, we're left scratching our heads. But we're going to make the case to fight for gold in this video. So let's explore. Yes, indeed. Just like we fight for freedom, part of that freedom we find in, in, in money that is indeed free from manipulation or suppression or what have you. And many people feel that's what's happening to the price of precious metals. Um, and gold certainly is one of those metals that people feel should be a lot higher than it is right now. One of my favorite charts uh, is the Macro Trends 100-year price chart. Uh, whenever I see that for gold and silver, by the way, uh, it really sets my mind at ease. I've done a pair of videos talking about that, and because when you look at it through the course of history, really silver and gold have kept up with the ever devaluing dollar. That's right. But before we talk about that, let's find out what's in this package. You're tired of staring at this. Did get another piece here, and I think the design on this coin pretty much sums it up. This is from Atmex. Package within a package. We're pulling it out. Trying to get more efficient with the, these unboxings here. You learn to know what to expect. I'm not struggling as much when I open them up. All right, here we go. And we have, yes, another Perth Mint product. You can never go wrong with Perth Mint. Uh, and indeed, it's even for backdated ones, as long as they're taken care of. And I do appreciate Atmex for uh, always sending nice quality pieces that you pay somewhat of a premium for, uh, for some of these backdated coins. Uh, but this is my very first uh, one ounce 2010 gold kangaroo. Yes, indeed, fighting for gold. And as is the struggle that you see on this very coin, you have two kangaroos fighting it out. Now, I think the symbology is not lost on me, especially with what we are uh, looking at today, what we are experiencing in today's world. We are experiencing quite a, um, a little bit of a struggle, a little bit of a fight. Uh, maybe it's a culture war in terms of money and the value of money. And what is money? And, you know, some people really don't see gold as money. And I can understand why some people may uh, think that. But when you look over the course of history, so gold has been, uh, you know, has been used as money uh, by many in the uh, known world at the time. And in the new world, uh, as was discovered, we found that a lot of the natives, uh, especially in Central America, Incas and the like, um, when the Span Spaniards came across them, they found that they utilized the metal not for money, but for a decoration and adornment because it was an amazing metal to work with. So a lot of their art was uh, utilized, was used, gold was used as art uh, and to as serve other purposes other than uh, in coins. Uh, but it had a role for sure and it had value. They knew it. Um, and they fought to try to keep it. And the Spaniards, they took it and, and sent it back to Spain. Uh, but yes, indeed, they also took a lot of silver as well. A lot of the same reasons. But uh, the struggle goes on. People fight wars over this metal. Um, but then again, there is a, what I refer to, as sort of a culture war on gold. And I think that is part and parcel to digital currencies making the way. And we've seen it with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies that have skyrocketed. Bitcoin especially has skyrocketed in prices right around 20 grand um, uh, per Bitcoin. 
And that's remarkable to think about um, because many people thought, well, there's no way that Bitcoin can get over $10,000 per Bitcoin. But alas, it did. Now Bitcoin is starting to find a sort of a resistance point, which is kind of fascinating to a degree to see that. Um, and we've not seen it dip below, much below $19,000 as of late. Some people are, are thinking, well, hey, maybe Bitcoin is the way to go as a store of value. Uh, but what is backing Bitcoin? How long has Bitcoin been around? Could it crash? It has before. Uh, maybe right now, since it's so ingrained now within our society, at least in the digital uh, universe, as it were, it's there. And there are people that swear by it. And, uh, and it is the new gold and the like. So you have that war, essentially, that culture war uh, where people are saying, hey, I think we're going to go towards a crypto space. Uh, but my feeling is, is, yes, you can do that. And there's nothing wrong with putting some uh, of your financial assets there. And uh, I actually dabbled a bit in Bitcoin for a while. Uh, I ended up, when it started to go up, on the way up, I cashed out what little I had and bought gold with it. Uh, but nonetheless, I believe that uh, Bitcoin is uh, something that should be seen as sort of a speculative play, even nowadays, even though it does have what seems to be a resistance point in its price. Uh, but what else is backing it? Really, there's nothing else backing it but the full faith and credit of those who have money invested in it. And I use the term investment because people really don't do that with gold except for in the another kind of the digital realm, and that is the, the paper gold market, the ETFs and the like, um, electronic trade, electronically traded products. Um, and so you have ETFs and all that, which is a derivative market. Uh, but there is something to be said for the physical gold itself. And this is an example of what physical gold can look like. And I believe that anybody who buys physical gold such as this and you hold it in your hand, and you really, even in this capsule, I can just feel the weight of it. There's just nothing that can compare with gold in my view. It is the metal that has surpassed um, um, eons or epochs, generations, um, ideologies, religions even. Uh, and in fact, it is in most every religion does refer to gold. Um, and so it's very fascinating to see how ingrained it is, has been in our society and really still is. For all practical purposes, it is still ingrained in our society Shoot, when you go to apply for a credit card, which rewards do you want? Do you want the gold card or do you want the, you know, that's typically near the top. Platinum is actually the one that's at the top of the line, but platinum is actually less expensive than gold. Uh, but nonetheless, when you think of the gold standard in a general sense, you're talking about the best. And it is no accident that the gold standard is the ideal um, in a general sense. And by the way, monetarily, it's the ideal standard as well. And there is one congressman, Alex Mooney, who is definitely fighting for gold. He has, he has uh, introduced legislation into the Congress just recently, and I've talked, done some videos about that in order to get gold, get us back to the gold standard, to have the dollar tied to gold. And it's long overdue. We need to it. We need to fight for gold. Um, and what way, what better way to do that than to tie our currency, our dollar to it, to restrain, to protect the dollar. That is going to be the best way to protect the dollar, in my view, is to tie it to gold. And so when we fight for um, freedom, we are fighting for financial freedom with gold. And so that's, that's what it's about. And I think it's, I think it's interesting. I, I applaud Mr. Mooney for his legislation. I think it's a wonderful thing uh, for sure. And um, and let me know what your thoughts are. Do you agree? And if you are into the cryptocurrencies, um, I certainly uh, respect anybody who does uh, buy cryptocurrencies and invest in them as an investment. But what really is money? What has surpassed uh, time and space, it has been uh, gold. And I think it will continue to be. I think gold is going to win this fight. 
Now on this very coin, you see there's two kangaroos fighting. And so it's not like you're fighting um, against um, some unknown entity. You're fighting against really the perception, uh, the, the media attention, the uh, other humans, I guess you would say, that have different viewpoints, different ideological viewpoints. Uh, but in the end, um, you can have different ideologies politically, but you can come together with what has been money for thousands of years, and that is gold. Um, and I think that reasonable people can disagree on other policies and come to an agreement here and on that. And then there are other people that may share the exact same political ideology, but having different views of views, points of view on gold. And I can think of Dave, Dave Ramsey as being one of them, who is not a fan of gold. He hates the metal. He thinks it's worthless. It's uh, it's useless. But you know, the thing is, it says it's uselessness uh, in terms of uh, being. Um, uh, an industrial metal, I think, is part of what makes it attractive because it is treasured. It is hoarded. Central banks hold it. Central banks certainly don't agree with Dave Ramsey, that's for sure. It is the currency of last resort, for sure. And I think that's what makes gold win that fight. In the end, uh, this, uh, just like physically, this can catch fire and burn up. Uh, in that same fire, when you have these two objects, um, you will see this melt down. Um, and unless the fire is so hot that it, ev it evaporates, it's likely not going to happen. Um, and even as such, even if it were to evaporate, it, it can still be reconstituted in some shape, manner, or form. But the worst it's going to do in a normal fire is it's going to melt. That gold can be collected and reconstituted. Um, and aside from being dissolved in aqua regia, that can also be reconstituted. The dollar, once it's burned up, that's it. There's no recovery. So uh, when you fight fire with gold and the dollar, the fire may win in terms of uh, uh, destroying the design on a gold coin, but uh, gold will win as it will maintain its properties. So there you go. Let me know what your thoughts are. In the comment section below, gold has stood the test of time. And I think these other philosophies, ideologies about money and monetary theory and about where true value is, um, gold will still rule the day. It will still win the day, rather, and it will come out on top. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and I encourage you to please rate share, comment, and subscribe.